Dante's nostrils flare from a rotting scent that seeps the path, every step a trudge through cloaking heat torn by staccato flares, thunder haunting the maze of rocks that clutch his clothes and skin. His sweat seems as heavy tears, wept at the thought of Beatrice. The next turn yields a loathsome sight, a dead and bloated horse trapping its rider's leg. The victim dressed in battle gear, starred epaulets of a British general. Pilgrim, I am Benedict Arnold. Can you free me from this anchor? Dante steps back, repelled. What happened? Shot down at Saratoga. Dante senses the breath of irony. Shot down by troops whose side you'd later join. The general's face flames. I fought and won. And did you fight the White Gelf's foe in Florence? No. You danced the fringes, your weapons mere voice and pen. Dante feels his face grow flush. You wrong me, sir. I fought in the Battle of Campaldino. I loved Florence and did not turn on her, nor slay those whose colors I had worn, nor run up debts and hatch financial schemes. Arnold leans back and stares, as if beseeching the aid of a vulture. I had grounds. They passed me over for promotion. Congress spurned my war expenses, and then court-martial. He points his finger like a sword. Show me your wounds, banished from Florence forever, reduced to roam your country alone, to dream of your beloved Beatrice. At least I married Becky, knew her love in the flesh not in my head like some sonnet. Dante recalls as if struck by a British ball. He lifts his head to the roiling sky as if he could fly like the circling vultures. Blank pages yield up battles of their own, he answers, and ink can flow like blood from wounded hearts. And wounded pride, shouts Arnold. Why place your mentor in hell, Brunetto Latini? who harbored and taught you, inspired you, loved you. I smell the rot of jealousy. Dante's legs weaken, and he leans against a rock with fingers that seem to prick his spine. I will answer the call of love. Don't leave, shouts Arnold. What news of Gloucester Place? Please speak of the River Severn. Dante walks toward the far horizon. Roseate flashes through black, as if his fate mocks with winks.